hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is ivy and i'm a makeup artist based in asaba delta state nigeria yes asaba it's not even makeup artist it's in lagos or abuja okay i'm based in asaba <laughs> anyway in today's video we are going to be doing this blue smoky eye look i don't know like a lot of people normally shy away from having like a smoky eye like the green smoky eye the blue smoky eye the black smoky eye because like if you don't do it well it doesn't turn out well and it doesn't turn out okay at all and it's not like even something you can use outside okay so if you want to learn how to do this in a wearable way and you know very fast easily without much stress i use my zikel times lydia stanley eyeshadow palette in this to achieve this look if you want to like know how to do this then please keep on watching and i'll see you in my very next video and please guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel down below okay my daughter just woke up i need to go attend to her welcome back guys so in today's video we are going to be doing a very colorful eye makeup look and we are going to be using our zikel times lydia stanley eyeshadow palette um, i'm thinking maybe something bluish let's see how that goes i'm going to be taking this shade called latte and i'm going to be mixing that with the shade called milky way and i'll be using that to set my brow bone I like a very matte brow I do not like my brows to be oily mind you guys I have nothing absolutely nothing on my lids okay um, going into this shade called Omba this orange shade right here and I'll be using my Morphe M411 brush. Now, whenever we're doing like a dark smoky eye, I like to use very small brushes because it helps with precise placement, okay? So going into Umba now, we're going to apply that into our transition area. I already had a review up on this eyeshadow palette and I told you guys in that video how pigmented this palette is as you can see it's really quite pigmented taking a smaller brush we are going to be going into this dark brown shade here called grayish and we'll be using that to apply into our crease i'm using a smaller brush and i'm going in a half moon shape on my crease okay we're going to go back into a blending brush and blend out the edges and then we're going to be taking a concealer with which we are going to be cutting our lid now whenever i'm going for a smoky eye i like i like it to be neat i like it to be sharp okay if I'm going for a green, a blue, a black smoky eye, well blended but sharp, I'll get into what I mean in a minute. I'm just going to use a concealer to clean up the lid the way I want it to be. As you can see, I'm just going one third of the way in. I'm not taking the concealer all the way out to my outer V. I'm taking an eyeshadow brush. We're going to be going into this blue, matte blue shade here called Promise. And we're going to be applying this shade all over the lid. 
cap off to avoid any fallout as you can see guys it's applying nicely just keep building up next taking this matte but dark very very dark blue shade called regal we are going to be applying that to the towards the outer part of the eye it's quite darker than what we have on our lid currently I still want to deepen this guys I don't think it's as smoky as I would want so I am going to go into this black shade called risky and just blend everything in together oh my goodness <laughs> I made a mistake guys I was supposed to have put some setting powder underneath my eyes to catch any fallout. I'm just going to do that now. I don't want to ruin this makeup. <laughs> As you can see, hmm? the, eye, the eyeshadow is coming in coming out pretty good right <laughs> so if you are scared of doing smoky eye because you know you just don't don't want it to look funny on your eye then just follow these steps and you are a goal okay all right so now we have our eyes looking like this we are taking a smaller brush and going back into that shade called grayish but what we are going to do now, we are going to just tap our brush into Regal. So this is grayish. We are tapping in to grayish. Then we just tap it once into Regal. And then we're going to use it to blend out this blue into the crease. So that it looks like a seamless blend, okay? It's all about the blending guys. If you blend if you blend it really well, then the look turns out beautiful. But if you don't take your time blending or you don't have blending brushes, that is where you begin to run into problems. So, I would advise it's a very good thing to invest in blending brushes, okay? So you have to blend back and forth and back and forth all over again. We're going back in now with our blending brush into umber and we are blending out once more so that everything is a seamless blend. Okay, this is how we are looking right now. Um, I want to make this eye look pop a bit. I really do not like when my smoky eye is just like normally i like to go in for an all matte look but i'm going to be taking this my avon true color eyeshadow duo in warm cashmere how it looks this is like my favorite eyeshadow for um you know, putting some color on my brow bone like a brow bone highlight or for you know trying to open up the inner corner of my eye unfortunately avon has discontinued making this product so that is quite a shame i'm going to be taking one of the shades right here and applying that on my brow bone just for some brow bone highlight just for some pop of color
taking the lighter shade now we are going to be popping that into the inner corner of our eye to open up this eye look so that it's like a gradient from the light can you see how that just opened up the eye that is the secret guys like don't start your your smoky eye directly from the inner corner of your eye it closes up the eye and it makes the eye look very amateurish okay you can see that is not like overly bright you can see now we're going to go back into our blending brush and just blend everything in I really do like the way this look is coming in but we're still going to vamp it up a bit so taking uh, our wrong care eyeliner liquid liner we're going to line our eyes Taking my favorite eye call or black pencil, <laughs> the Marbrook pencil, we're going to be applying this into our waterline. Okay, now having done that, this look is not complete, so don't even think that we are done because. You see the way it's looking, you might think it's looking good, but it's not. Whatever we did up, we also have to bring underneath. That's what is going to tie everything in and make this the real blue smoky eye, okay? So we're going to go in with that shade called Promise. And starting with that shade, the blue shade called Promise, we're going to start from the inner corner of our eye to start smoking out underneath the eye. Next, we are going to go into this sh the darker blue shade called Riga. And we are going to put it where we stopped. Take it this way like this. All the way to the outer edge right here. Okay. This eye look is not called smoky eye just because it has to be well smoked out. Okay. Hmm. As you can see, it is really looking smoky indeed. Then, taking another brush, we are going to go into this shade called Umba. The shade we use for our transition color. And we are going to apply it directly underneath where the smoky, the blue shades were applied. Okay guys, this is what we are having right now and it's looking really good. Now we're going to apply lashes because there is no smoky eye look without lashes. If you don't have lashes on, ah, you need to have a very good mascara. Today I'll be using the Huda Beauty um, Legit Lashes, the 2 in 1 mascara. I really do love this mascara. Like I used to think that I had lashes, like I had a favorite mascara, but this is like a sample. I got this from Huda Beauty and I've been enjoying this mascara a whole lot. I'm applying the mascara to our lower lash line, to our lower lashes. To make it pop. Then to finish this look, to tie it all in, we're going to apply lashes. 
Today we are going to be using our Voam Beauty 10 in 1 Siberian Mink Lashes. I don't even know which. I want something really loud. So I'm going to apply these lashes off camera and I'll be right back. We are back guys. So I'm just going to dust off this powder from underneath the eye. It's always good to apply setting powder underneath the eye before doing any smoky eye look because there's bound to be fallout and it's easier to wipe out any fallout when you have powder underneath the eye okay so there you have it guys your blue smoky eye look really pretty very easy to do like blue green purple anything you should start rocking a smoky eye look anytime any day and even on days when you don't feel like don't go bold because this takes some guts to rock eh what you can do is you can just have your normal neutral eye and then you saw the way we smoked out underneath the lower lash line you can like use your green your blue your purple just to add that pop of color and mind you you are good to go and you know you just feel like a babe on that particular day okay <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed yourself i hope you've also subscribed though because this is our channel you cannot just come and be learning things and you don't subscribe just subscribe help you get out in fact you can learn things without subscribing but just subscribe for my sake please <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys this is the look once more let me do what all those beauty youtubers used to do I really have to learn how to do this slow motion thing okay anyway thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my very next video bye guys